continuous auto focus with the Sigma 28 to 70 uh, on the S5 at f2.8. Face tracking. Don't think it's picked me up. I could be wrong. It's hard to tell. To give you Sony users something to gloat about, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'll persevere with the autofocus on the Lumix S5 for this video. So, um, had a lend of a Lumix S1. Um, I'm considering swapping out the Pocket 4K for the Lumix S1 for a few reasons. So, I might go into those reasons in another video uh, but I managed to have a lend of the S1 from a friend uh, so thank you Sam uh, much appreciated uh, here we are the Lumix S1 it's a chunky camera um, really one beast of a camera to be honest um, I wanted to see how the image quality fares in comparison to the Pocket 4K. Uh, I know it's similar quality to the S5, but just wanted to see nonetheless. Also interested in the resolutions and how my cards would perform those resolutions, particularly the higher up 5.9K and then the 6K, at different frame rates as well. Uh, ergonomics, handling, menu systems, just get a feel for the camera to see if it would be right for me uh, like I said there's other reasons why uh, the S1 makes more sense than a Pocket 4K but nonetheless so uh, I took it out for a spin took it out to my place of work um, wasn't the best for weather to be honest it ended up being quite overcast quite dull skies and things and uh struggling to find anything of interest to film but it's more of a test kind of day I guess so um, although it was overcast it was quite bright still so I wanted to use my 4x4 filters uh, so I got the ND2 6 and 8 uh, from Koken and they, they're good filters but it's really hit me hard that, at the fact that I need uh, like four and five stop filters like the ND32 and ND64 filters because um, I had to go to my my uh, Beastie 10 stop filter because the ND2 6 and 8 or 4 and 8 just weren't cutting it. Um, so I had to kind of heighten the ISOs. Um, to compensate because obviously the 10 stop filter was quite dark so not the best in terms of exposure and uh, not the ideal exposure settings I would have chosen but nonetheless um, you know I, I went ahead anyway so I paired the S1 with some contact Zeiss lenses um, the 85 1.4 where was I I had to cut there so I'm back uh, yes yeah, so I decided to take out the Contact size, 85 mil f1.4. Um, pretty much uses this to be honest, and uh, I think I stopped down to f2.8 f2 for some shots. So um, again, because of the issues I've having with exposure, quite a bright day. But you know, you're still getting some nice uh, shadow depth of the field, particularly being on a full frame camera quite happy with the results um, I think it's quite a good pair in the S1 and vintage lenses uh, I quite like vintage lenses on modern sensors anyway so um, yeah it's giving a lot to consider so the Lumix S1 with contact size lenses 85mm 50 and I used a 35mm, uh, f2.8 35mm, f1.7 50mm and f1.4 85mm but pretty much all of them used an f2.8 
to his video. Hope you like. Um, and I hope you like this video. And uh, please consider subscribing. And yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.